Samal, a disappointing night. Uh, how much did missing three games through the weather contribute to tonight's defeat? Yeah, I think a little bit. Um, as you say, we had three really strong performances to start the competition and then obviously only playing a few overs at the Oval and then back-to-back -back games rained off to go, what was it, eight, nine days without playing a, a game. You do lose a little bit of momentum, both physically, technically. You know, lads not hit, hitting balls at match intensity, bowlers not having that, that pressure of, of nailing skills under pressure. So, um, yeah, I think a little bit, but... You don't want to hide under excuses. I think we did a decent job in the first innings to, to reduce Gloucester to a, to a chaseable total. Glenn Phillips obviously played a, a really good knock. He's a very talented player in, in really good form at the moment, but um, maybe we could have been slightly more aggressive at him early. Um, so we'll, you know, we've, we've spoken about that. And then with the bat, the lads just spoke about adapting to the wicket. But the bowlers, you know, traditionally it's, 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 it's decent to chase here at home once the dew sets in and it skids on nicely. So maybe waiting a touch longer for that due to set in before we go too aggressive. But um, you know, it's, it's one loss. We're what, halfway through the group stage now, still seven games to go. So um, you know, no, no real panic just yet. And bar a special innings from, from Phillips, it was, you know, 30, 30 off for four. Um, it, was, it was all going pretty well. I guess you've got to just um, doff your hat to a performance like that. Yeah, and as I said, he's, well, I think he's leading run scorer in the competition. He's yeah, you're playing some outrageous shots, he's, he's full of confidence, he's a very good player. I played with him over in Auckland a couple of years ago and I saw it first hand, he's a very talented player. So yeah, some nights you know, you, you do um, you lose out to, to, to some really top performances, but I think we did well around him. Um, obviously he took wickets early and, and nobody else from their side really got going, but um, yeah, look, you need to take that, that big wicket and take those chances when they come. And what about the way he paced his innings? Uh, you know, he adapted to what wasn't a, a very easy pitch necessarily to, to play sh shots from the go on. Is, is that perhaps something we could have done better? Yeah, the boys just spoke about that after the game, kind of taking lessons from that. As you say, you earn the right. As you say, what, it was a runner ball to around 25, and then he kind of slowly increased, and then come the last four or five overs, he obviously went, went aggressive and, and, and played some, some pretty big shots. So, um, yeah, I think the lads, we've, we've spoken about that, and I'm sure um, you know, we'll learn from that moving forward, starting with Surrey on Sunday. Your own performance, um, very good figures, three wickets. Um, you, you know, must be pleased among the the carnage at the end there when Phillips was was going hard that you you managed to contain him. Yeah, look, I, I pride myself on on bowling well at the death. It's it's what I'm in the team to do. Bowl bowl the important overs at the start and the end. Um, and yeah, it's, it's always tough when they have a guy that's you know, striking them very cleanly and, and looking to to hit every ball for six. So um, yeah, look. Just trying to go out there and execute as well as well as I can. Um, and yeah, it was a good night for me, but unfortunately, um, you know, it would have been nicer if it was at the end of a team win as well. And I can't let you go without asking about your little cameo at the end. <laughs> uh, a career best score. I think you've once said that you um, you much prefer hitting a six than you do taking a wicket. And uh, there was one of those for you tonight, uh, and, and and a good effort with the bat. Yeah, I, I thought that one went straight up at first, but luckily it had enough on it to go over. But. Yeah, look, I haven't worked as hard on my batting in, in recent years as I probably should have, being honest. But this this season, I've, I've actually worked really hard with, with Ash Wright, the, the, the one-day batting coach. Um, got a few things in place, so I actually feel like I know what I'm doing out there. And, and yeah, it was nice to obviously to come off. But again, you know, you, you want those moments to be to chasing a game to, to and, and winning at the end. So, um, yeah, look, obviously a, a little bright spot for me. Maybe we've had a bit of a laugh and a joke about it up in the changing room, but... You know, ultimately, obviously, we've lost a game that we feel we should have won. Chance to bounce straight back on Sunday against Surrey, uh, another team who are right up there in this group. Uh, I guess that's the good thing about this competition. You don't get to, to mull over your defeats for too long. Yeah, we've got a busy week now. Well, we play Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, I think. So, obviously, games come thick and fast. So, you want to put, put that right straight away. Obviously, we have a daytime game. We haven't played a day game yet. All the games have been under light. So, obviously, Surrey will, will bring a strong side down, I'm sure. And, um, but yeah, we need to bounce back and then... You know, another home game against Kent and then Middlesex and Glamorgan, I think it is, after that. So a big week coming up and then we get a week off before, before we play again. So you're know, kind of all hands to the pump and um, yeah, look, we'll, we'll be coming hard on Sunday for sure. Well bowled, well battered and see you Sunday. Thank you.